Hey everyone, welcome to another update video. Today is a very special day. Well, not today, but recently it's been a very special time on the channel because I have recently hit 10k subscribers. After years of grinding, after years of ups and downs, mainly ups on YouTube, I have finally hit the big 10k, five digits. I feel like, you know, the big milestones are 100, 1000 and 10,000. If you're a smaller YouTuber, obviously you can go up to the huge numbers later, but really 10,000 to me is a huge amount. So this is going to be kind of the thank you video slash special 10k video. I'm also trying out a new camera that we got recently, the fam got. So yeah, this is, this should be good. There's just one more thing we are missing. I mean, people were asking for this, the glasses, holy fuck, these are dirty. All right, not that these actually help with my vision because these are basically hipster glasses. So, you know, it doesn't actually do any corrections. So first of all, I wanna thank you guys very, very much for subscribing. Thank you for all the support over the years. This is gonna sound, this is gonna be a cheesy as shit video, but yeah, for anyone who's been around for years, uh, to anyone who's been around for like two days, really, truly thank you for subscribing, watching my videos, uh, liking, commenting, all of that. I really, really do appreciate it. Over the years, uh, I've kind of managed to grow this channel and I cannot believe I'm actually at the 10k mark. It feels like a huge milestone because, you know, the 1000 to the 10k is massive. It's a massive gap. And I feel like not many channels actually get to this point. From the time I put out my Dark Souls Sorcerer Guide, you know, which is kind of what I consider to be the time I started to take YouTube a little bit more seriously. Not that I ever kind of want this to be my job. It's never been my focus. My kind of view on making YouTube your job is if it happens, it happens. I mean, I really like kind of hate people who there are some motherfuckers who quit their jobs, you know, to be a YouTuber, you know, and it just fails. You know, if it happens, it happens. But other than that, uh, this is just a hobby for me. But it has been a successful hobby. And I think 10K subs might be a demonstration for that. So three big things I want to cover in this video. First things first, somehow, if you've stumbled upon this video and you're not subscribed yet, I don't know how, uh, because this is mainly for within the channel. But if you're new here, uh, make sure to do subscribe. Hi, I'm Mr. Sketchhead. I make gaming, mainly Dark Souls and fighting game related stuff. So yeah, if you wanna subscribe, please subscribe, check out my other videos. All right, number two, I kind of talked about this in some of my latest episodes as well, but lately YouTube has been an ass. We all know that for the past maybe year, YouTube has been really inconsistent with actually getting videos to subscribers. So basically a lot of the times even I experience this where I'm subscribed to a channel I really like and I never end up seeing their videos. So to fix that there is the little bell icon under the subscribe button or is it next to it? It's next to it. Yeah, next to it. It's gonna, I'm gonna try putting it somewhere here. This is like classic YouTube shit pointing to something non-existent. So yeah, please if you like my channel, if you enjoy my content, if you've been subscribed for a while, please hit that bell button. It really is the guaranteed way, the only guaranteed way to actually stay up to date on my content, on my streams. I'm trying to focus more on streaming a little bit recently. So I'm trying to focus on streaming a little bit more in the future. So if you want to actually know when I'm streaming, when I'm putting out videos, uh, the little bell icon, which might appear here again, might not is really the best way to stay up to date on all the stuff I do. And for sure, there's going to be more videos like this because I actually got a decent camera now, so it's all good. The number three thing I want to cover is kind of, well, more shilling, but Instagram. I have an Instagram, Mr. Underscore Sketchhead. If you don't already follow me, uh, make sure to give me a follow. It's probably the best way to kind of keep up with me. Quite a few people follow my Instagram and most people know that I answer DMs. I kind of talk with you on anything, you know, so it's probably the best uh, way to stay up to date with me. All right, let's get into the meat of this video, which is such a weird phrase, but I wanted to do something special. And what I thought I would cover is a little FAQ. 
a little fact, if you can say. Uh, these are just five questions that constantly pop up and I thought, you know what, this is gonna be on my channel, kind of the main video for a while now, so let me just cover the kind of most frequent questions I get. First things first, one thing I always get is, where are you from? Well, I am Hungarian, which is a tiny country in Central Europe. Uh, there's There should be a map popping up and Hungary is right there. Yeah, yeah, right there. So yeah, that's Hungary. Uh, people ask where kind of I learned English and all that. Uh, I basically lived in London for four years and I lived in New York for six years. All right, next most frequent question is how old am I? Uh, I feel like this is just an ASL from, you know, like those old Omegle chats. I feel like people are going to be asking for my address next. But anyways, I'm 25. All right, third question constantly pops up. What is your favorite game? And this is kind of a difficult one to answer because, you know, it's kind of like asking what's your favorite food, uh, you know. I'm an adult, I don't have the palate of an 11 year old, so, you know, I like more than one thing with food and with gaming as well. And really, I would say for classics, one thing, one game I really remember from my childhood is Need for Speed 2, I always played that. Uh, in terms of like, console games, uh, probably Spyro, Spyro, which speaking of Spyro, I really need to get that remastered version. Uh, so that, yeah, Spyro probably for PS1, PS2. And recently, obviously Dark Souls, the first Dark Souls, one of my favorite games of all time. And recently the number one game that's been kind of on my mind and I've been constantly playing is Into the Breach, which is a fantastic game, like really, truly, truly fantastic. I urge anyone who enjoys RTS games, XCOM, all that to check it out. All right, number four question, kind of pops up quite a bit, is can I play this and this game? Uh, certainly I'm not against requests on this channel. If you want a game, if you think I should play a game, if you think I would enjoy something, uh, feel free to let me know. Not guaranteed that I will play it because obviously I don't make a living off of this. I have a full-time job. So really kind of my time is limited and I always try to focus on the games I really enjoy playing. You know, when I was younger, back in the early days of the channel, I kind of tried quote unquote the, you know, the shilling for YouTube, always picking up the newest game, always playing it. And I just found that if I play something that I don't enjoy, uh, it just doesn't turn into a good video. But certainly, again, if you have suggestions, I will, I will take them. Uh, maybe I just won't play it, but feel free to leave anything in the comments and all that. And finally, this is the biggest one. If I had a dollar for every time I got asked this question, I would probably have like 30 bucks, which is nice. Uh, it is, what order do you place the Souls games in? Of course, if you know, Souls games are my main thing, but here we go. Some people are probably gonna crucify me. Uh, they're gonna come to my house. I'm gonna get killed, but okay, this is just my opinion and take it with the fact that I enjoy every single Souls game. All right, here we go. Number five is gonna go to Dark Souls 3. Perfectly fine game, I enjoy it. I'm playing it right now, I'm having a blast. It's a really good game, but it, I just feel like in terms of Souls games, it has very low replayability. Really, I'm approaching this list from the standpoint of, you know, if I'm sitting in front of my PS4, which Souls game do I most wanna play? Dark Souls 3 is kind of the lowest on the list. All right. Number four, this is the one I'm scared of, I swear. I can already hear the mob outside, I can already see the dislike bars, but number four is gonna go to Demon's Souls. Listen, before you take your pitchforks, Demon's Souls is a great game, it's a classic, it's a wonderful game, however, it shows its age so heavily. I feel like it's the Souls game that is the most clunky, graphically as well, and I know graphics don't matter, but you know, I feel like Demon's Souls is not the type of game that aged particularly well. It has a lot of weird mechanics and a lot of kind of clunkiness with the fact that it's still a fantastic game. All right, number three, oh, I don't know why I'm pointing. Number three is gonna go to Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2, I kind of had my ups and downs with, but recently, whenever I played the game, I really, really enjoy it. I think it's a super fun game. You can get really creative with your weapon choices, spell choices. The game really lets you play in any way you want. So, you know, just because of that, the sheer replayability, I gotta give some kudos to Dark Souls 2. Number two, 
Number two goes to the OG Bloodborne. I think Bloodborne is probably still holding up as one of the best exclusives for the PS4. Seriously, if you have a PS4 and you haven't played Bloodborne, like, what are you doing, man? It is a fantastic game. Really great, great atmosphere, great fights, great challenge. Like, a perfect package. Really, the only thing that holds Bloodborne back, and the reason it cannot get the number one spot for me, is the fact that the replayability is low. I wouldn't say as low as Dark Souls 3, but really I would say what holds Bloodborne back is not being able to actually have spells. I think really just being able to choose between a strength build and a dex build kind of limits the game. And the number two thing is the lack of weapons or, well, weapon variety, with many of the most interesting weapons uh, only being available in the very late game. But other than that, again, Bloodborne, seriously, if you haven't played it, play it now. I would really, really suggest it. And number one, well, a kind of by process of elimination is going to go to Dark Souls. It truly is one of my favorite games of all time. I can replay it anytime. Like, seriously, just pop it in right now and I'll play it. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope it answers probably the most frequent question I get. Uh, who knows where Sekiro will place on this list? Probably high. I mean, Sekiro is looking good, which is like, I'm going to be on that like a fly on shit. Speaking of what I'm going to be on with, like... Right now I'm playing Resident Evil 2, which make sure to check that out. I'll put a little shill tab uh, right here uh, to my latest Resident Evil stream video. Really fun game. I urge you to come check it out because we are having a blast with people who join. Next game on the horizon is probably going to be uh, Far Cry New Dawn. Finally. I mean, I didn't finish Far Cry 5 on stream because I know what the ending is. I got it spoiled and... I feel like the game didn't have catharsis, which made me like really not looking forward to finish it. But now we actually get a proper ending, a proper continuation. So in New Dawn, I'm going to be really on that. And then of course there's Sekiro, MK, just a bunch of shit. I also occasionally play Smash, which I do shower by the way, for anyone who tries to deride uh, Smash players. I'm not your typical Smash player, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and end this. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys again for 10k. Hope this video was at least semi-interesting. Again, subscribe, hit the bell, like this video, comment. I'll take suggestions. I'll take, I don't know, whatever you got. Whatever you got, I'll take it. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out with douchebag glasses. I know people were requesting it. So yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.